Hello people of the internet. Now in today's video I am going to show you how to play Signorita by yours truly Sean Mendez. It's quite a simple progression, nothing fancy. We can overcomplicate it if we if we can overcomplicate it if we want to. But uh, yeah, I'm not about that. Sean Mendes is about overcomplicating things. I mean, first of all, the song is in 117 beats per minute. I mean, that's atrocious. Why not 116 or 118? My OCD can't handle 117. Why? Let me just get my rhythm. 117 beats per minute, okay? Seems innocent enough, but I mean, 116, even number 118, why 117, why? So we are in the lovely key of C major, or A minor, depending on what mood you're in. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say we are in C major. It doesn't necessarily mean if we start in A minor that we are in the key of A minor, okay? We are in C, and this is actually chord 6. Alright, but before I complain any further, let's just listen to how the progression goes, just so that you can get a feel. 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. And it's Mexican, so... You have to get a little salsa vibe or flamingo, but I know nothing about flamingo because I'm a South African kid and yeah, I've never seen a flamingo in my life, so that's cool. Nice little major E we got going on there. But Anthony, C doesn't have a G sharp. Well, start off with A minor, okay, which is the sixth chord of C, and then we move on to C, which is chord one, okay, and then we move from C to F, which is chord four. And I highly recommend, if you are wanting to learn this progression, please write it down. It's uh, you're going to remember. It's going to be less overwhelming. Yeah, just just trust me. Just write it down. From chord four, this is where we can. We have so many options. You can go to E minor, okay, or you can go to E minor seven, or if you're really fancy, you can do E major, but. I'll get to that. The song actually goes to E minus 7, okay? So you just play a G chord in the right hand and E in the left, an open E in the left. Then you have E minus 7. If you want to simplify that a bit, you can just play E minor, a normal E minor. So you have three options there. The, the original song goes to E minus 7. So I'll play from the 4. That's the E minor 7. Now, if you are not playing with the music itself, you can get a little fancy and introduce the raised 5th, like I showed you. Then it sounds like this. Now, that sounds the best, in my opinion. Okay, but Anthony, why does it sound good? Because C doesn't have a G sharp. Well, if we go to the relative minor, da, 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 and we play it harmonically, then we actually do have a G sharp, and that's all that I'm doing. So C doesn't have a G sharp, but A minor does, 
and A minor is relative to C so that's why it sounds correct. Alright so that's the progression in essence we have 6 minor 1 4 E minor 7 is our third chord and G is our fifth. 6 to 1 to 4 